What's up, interwebs? It's me, Kyo Killa, and today I'm here to review Inside for the Xbox One. Let's get started. Playdead's new outing is similar to their previous game, Limbo. Ah! What the f? Get that ring shit out of here! F Jesus. Anyway, like I was saying, it's similar to Playdead's last game, Limbo, in the sense that you're playing a platformer with simple controls that you use to navigate a world with increasing complexity, governed by very realistic physics, and f no, no. It's stay out! Don't be fooled. Just because you've only got a few buttons to press doesn't mean you'll be getting inside with ease. There are moments of seamless free-running style platforming that require carefully timed jumps and button presses, and a majority of the game requires thought and consideration. For instance, you end up using a contraption that enables you to take control of a person's body and solve puzzles that involve both you and the body and a switch and air-compressed boxes that fire off at different speeds and times, or multiple bodies and sometimes wackier things like becoming a submariner and <laughs> okay we've we've gone over this and that's all I'm gonna focus on when it comes to gameplay though the gameplay the physical mechanics are very important you play a game like inside for the experience a story told without words rife with palpable imagery that makes you feel like you're part of a world that you're trying to escape but that you simultaneously want to stay and learn more about a thematic tale that like a movie may only last a few hours but can leave you with an impression that will likely last a long time with the marriage of solid gameplay and an incredibly thought-provoking and disturbing setting, I think that any fan of similar platformers, especially Limbo or even Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, must experience this game. Hey, Indy, are you in there? No, no, it's just a fridge. It's 20 bucks, and though it only lasts anywhere from 3 to 5 hours, it can easily be argued that if you're willing to spend the money to go see a movie that's shorter and fork out an ass load for overpriced concessions, I highly recommend inviting some friends over and playing this game together. Take turns, have one person play while everyone else watches. It's just too beautiful and strange to pass up. Really strange. And you'll get way more bang for your buck. If any of what you've seen in this review doesn't appeal to you, it's probably not worth your $20. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, Twitch if you like to Twitch, and donate if you can. Thanks so much again. You guys are amazing as always. I'll see you next time. Laters!